Welcome to Game in the Spotlight, or Gets for Short. New series I'm just starting to show you, yes, you, cool, underplayed, or underrated games that I enjoy. Starting the series off with OMFG, a fast-paced, roguelike FPS set at the space station hijacked by killer robots. You must fight your way through an endless death row of killer robots using the massive arsenal of over 30 million different guns. Now, here's how I want to format this series, with three key points, starting with... 1. Why I like the game and why I think it's fun. 2. Parts about the game that I dislike. And 3. Why I believe you should give it a shot. Let's start right here. OMFG, in my opinion, is super fun because of its unique movement. On the surface, you see a simple, overused movement system. Jump, slide, and wall run. That's really about it. But I'm sorry, little Jimmy. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. It's more like jump, slide, wall run, sure. We also have slide jump for double speed and height, and a combo initiator. Wall jump, where you can touch a wall for a small amount of time and jump off of it for height and speed. You can backwards wall climb, you can fucking strafe, jiggle peek on a wall for multiple seconds, and do not even get me started on recoil weapons. There's new stuff to it, and after 5 minutes of playing with it, you'll probably find yourself comboing movement mechanics to fly across rooms on Mod 10. It's so over the top, and it works well with both burst damage single use weapons such as the shotgun or the revolver, as well as with the sustained weapons, aka the rapid fire weapons that require tracking to be meaningful, such as the AR, the SMG, and the LMG. They both require a lot of skill to get just right when you're abusing the movement system. It surprisingly gives a high skill ceiling to such a simple game. And it keeps going. Loadout combos, preset combos, advanced movements such as dash jump, wall jumping, weapon strategy, movement combos in certain rooms, the list goes on and on and on. Like to the point where I would have to make another video in this game just to cover it all. If, you know, if you're, if you're interested. Like and sub maybe? I don't know. Now it ain't all sunshine rainbows. There are parts of this game that scale to minorly annoying to why is this part of the game? Let's start here. It's too simple? Yeah, it, I know it sounds weird to make a point of this because I just got done losing it over its advanced movement and weapon combos and loadouts. But the way that it looks and feels and progresses feels no different to Cluster Truck or games like it. A game with innate simplicity, with advanced mechanics and strategy, that just make it look and feel like one of those games I'll be playing in the background while a TikToker was telling a story. Hey, so I was like in Vegas one time, and I saw this dude selling crack cocaine on the quarter, and like I tried to buy some, but then he said you're under arrest, and I'm like... The fonts, the lack of maps, the 90s like graphics, and the lack of different types of robots kind of do that. There's only like 7 types of rooms in the game, and a couple of them have no enemies in them or are kind of just there just to space out rooms, and the lack of robots is an understatement. There are 3 subclasses of enemies that have 3 subtypes in them each. You have what I'm going to call the melee bot, the tank bot, and the boss bot. And in that, you have a small, medium, and large melee bot and tank bot each. And three different colored boss bots, purple, yellow, and red. All three scaling from easiest to least tanky with lesser damage, to higher tankiness and more damage. There's just a lack of variety, and after playing up to like floor 11, you kinda just lose the want to play because of it. Like, just think for a second that there was three different flying enemies. One with melee, one with a rocket launcher, and one with a minigun. Like, immediately, that's just so much more to it that would be fucking awesome. And also, if there were more rooms or more levels to play, that would also be super positive, of course, because you really only combat bots in one of five rooms at a time. Of course, I don't really expect change just because I post a video on the internet demanding change. I mean, just look at how well that works for other games. But I digress. Did you know some college students made this game? Yeah, primarily made by some college students. I thought I would also bring this up so I wouldn't sound desperate for change. I'm not. I'm just outlining the parts of the game that pose a negative light to me. But hey, if you want to add some more maps and stuff like that in a skim shop or something, I mean, you would get my money. 
Anyways, back to the final point. Why should you play this game? Well, let's start off easy. It's free. There's there's no need at all to pay to play, nor any skins, DLC content, hidden behind a paywall. With a second, yeah, I had a lot of negative to say about this game, but overall, the gunplay and unique movement trumps that over a mile. And the user reviews agree with me on this point pretty much 100%. So if you're looking for a fast-paced game to dick around with for a little while at a time, give it a shot. There's no money investment and a little time investment. And I think the game is very unplayed and it's not really in the public eye before posting this video. Oh, and also the music is pretty groovy.